Hey guys, I just finished, oh crap, um, as you can hear in the background, I did uh, Kathy's hit workout, I did the pyramid again, and I just finished, I don't know if you can tell, you see, 242 calories, so A, this is my fit financial proof for the day, um, if you're not familiar with that, and you watch me on YouTube, we're all, anybody, whether you're a member of Fit Fluential or not, we tweet our workouts, whether it's your check-in on Daily Mile, whether it's a YouTube video, a, a picture post on Twitter, on Instagram, send it to Twitter, use the hashtag FitFluential first, just the word FitFluential, then do a next, another hashtag with all caps, the word proof, and that's how we're keeping each other accountable. So this is my proof of the day, but also I wanted to tell you, A, the, the video I shot earlier, I am indeed working out. It is now 12.25. I have about 30 minutes left for my lower body workout. I'll squeeze in what I can and crush it. But I wanted to share. I haven't done as much of my like high intensity cardio this week. Um, I'm trying to think if I went running or anything as hardcore, um, harder core, if you will. This is an insanity level, but my heart rate was up to like 157, 160, a lot. I mean, can you see the sweat? And for 20, 25 minutes, that's a good burn. And obviously I've got my sweat going. But the reason I wanted to shoot this, good lord, I'm like traps. See those? Anyway, um, is I noticed today when I did this, in the breaks in between, so she'll do 20 minutes of plyo, 20 minutes of rest. 25 minutes of the next move, 25, excuse me, seconds. 20, 20, 25, 25, 30, 30, and then you come back down. But it might be two 20s, two 25s, two 30s, and then coming back down with two 25s, two 20s. Then you have a minute rest and you do the whole thing. Very intense. What I found was that today, and I think this is just a testament to like how much I wasn't getting like killer cardio in this week, I had to keep adding, like rewinding and giving myself an extra seven to eight seconds. The reason I'm bringing this up is a lot of you guys write to me that are new. I'm not um, a certified personal trainer, although I will be very soon a certified trainer on the way. Anyway, um, so I'm just somebody that is surrounded by a lot of very educated and certified and licensed individuals. But what I always, my advice to everybody is, especially if you're new, it's really easy to get frustrated if you're doing a DVD at home or you go to the gym and you look at the person on the treadmill next to you. Like when I first started running and I was all proud that I was running at like 4.5 miles an hour and then some pro comes up next to me, some guy, and he gets on and warms up for two minutes and then he's doing like 9.5 miles an hour or eight. And I'm like, oh my God. I'm not even working out. You can't compare yourself to other people. Do you guys honestly think with this level of sweat and this nice burn and how out of breath I was that even though I had to add eight seconds rest, additional rest, so I was, you know, kind of having a little bit more of a rough time today, this is what's kicking my butt. The only thing that matters, it's what's challenging you, what's continuing to challenge you. The only thing that matters is that you keep progressing. You can't compare yourself to someone else. And I know that sounds silly. I know someone wrote on my blog one day, they were like, oh, I don't know other people compare themselves to other people and yada yada. Yeah, they do. <laughs> Maybe you're set and you're really comfortable and you're fine in your head. There's a lot of people that are insecure. And if you're insecure, it's very easy to compare yourself to other people. Um, you know, being in yoga has taught me to be more about like, just focus on what you can do. It doesn't matter. There's things that I'm really good at in yoga and I can see that the people around me, I shouldn't even be paying attention to that, but I can be seeing that they're having a challenge with it and then they'll kick butt on the next one and I can't even do it. Like I have to have Corey bring over like seven different contraptions to get me started in these poses because my hips are so tight or whatever. Do what's best for you. Even though I had to add extra rest time, do you think I'm gonna look at that and go, wow, today sucked. Today was a great workout, I feel great. And all that to say, here's my proof. I'm gonna go work my butt, work my hamstrings, work my calves, work my quads, and then I'm gonna go get a shower and go pick up my friends. So you guys have a great weekend. And again, run your own race. And for those of you that are perfect and don't have those issues, congratulations. Get yourself an extra glass of water.